what we just learned is how to calculate the area of a triangle using trigonometry, specifically two sides and the angle between them. What if the question asked us, instead of calculating the area, calculating the length of a side, but we've been given the area, one side and an angle. It's going to use the same formula, but we're just going to have to rearrange it slightly. So, as always, first step, formula. Area was half, AB sine C. Now you can see this time, I've labelled the triangles as points, but just like I said before, doesn't matter. As long as we know we're using two sides and the angle between them, it's just this time we're finding a side. So substitute in, this time we know the area, so I'm going to write 40 equals a half times 6. The unknown side, let's leave as x, sine 72. What we can now do, straight away think, well, half of 6 is just 3. It doesn't matter which order you multiply in. So 6 times x times sine 72, we can just rearrange, except now it's a half times 6, which is 3. So 3 times sine 72 times x means the same. And what we can now do is rearrange that to be x equals, so if 40 equals 3 times sine 72 times x, that means x will equal 40 divided by 3 times sine 72. And get our calculator. 40 divided by bracket 3 times sine 72. Which gives us 14.019, which to one decimal place. We just round to 14.0, so I'll just leave it as 14 centimetres. So that was calculating the length of a side, given the area, an angle, and a side. If you see here for extension 2, we're calculating an angle. So here, I've been given two sides, I've been given the area, and I want to calculate the angle. Still going to be the same formula. So then if we substitute in, 12.4 will equal a half times 5 times 6 times sine of the angle between them. Let's call it x. Half times 5 times 6, well 5 times 6 is 30 and half of 30 is 15. So if 12.4 equals 15 times sine x, I can rewrite that to be sine x equals 12.4 divided by 15. Now if you can remember from right angle to trigonometry, if we're finding an angle, we rewrite that as x equals sine to the negative 1 of 12.4 over 15. Get our calculator and so we're doing shift button or second function button sine you can see sine to the negative one fraction 12.4 divided by 15 gives us 55.757 which rounded to one decimal place 55.8 degrees and that should be everything that would be covered with area of a triangle.